And welcome back to the Sports Report. We're joined by the new head football coach of the Perry Commodores, as Seth Evans has been named uh, coach earlier this week. 25 years young and a first-time head coach, but man, you talk about excitement. This guy embodies it right now. Seth, congrats. I'm sure you're still on that cloud 48 hours after the fact, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited and you know, just ready to get started and get my process going. Absolutely. You've been a part of the program for the last two years now, um, calling the offense uh, for Dan Baker, who was the previous head coach. So obviously it gave you a little bit of skin in the game, so to speak. Um, but just, you know, when Dan decided to leave to pursue some opportunities, was it something that was like absolutely no brainer, you're going to go after it? Yeah, I, I think, you know, as soon as he told me that he was going to resign, I think it was just automatic that you know, I was going to put my name in and, you know, feel the process out and interview and hopefully I got the job and end up working out for me. So, you know, let's talk about you and what you're looking forward to doing. Um, the offense has been pretty high octane the last yeah. couple of years. It's yeah. going to help having Ryan Yanks back at control, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, having him already having two years, you know, under me calling the plays and I'll probably continue to call the plays again this year. And, you know, all the athletes we got coming back and we've got a lot of returning guys, a lot of seniors coming back. And, you know, when I got here two years ago, those guys that are going to be seniors were only sophomores and some of them hadn't played before. So now we have two years of experience underneath them and, you know, hopefully we can keep the success going in the win column. Have you uh, met with the guys yet? If so, what was that like? I haven't met with the guys yet. Um, you know, with school being canceled today, I didn't get a chance to see them or anything like that. But um, I got a lot of texts and a lot of support from them. So I think they're excited and I know I'm excited to, you know, continue it. Um, let's just let's talk about your background a little bit. Those that know you know that you're from the area. You're a USV guy that ended up at Perry. Yeah. Um, was coaching, helping to coach basketball and football mm -hmm. at Perry or at, uh, at USV. You got a teaching position um, at Perry and you've been involved with basketball and football um, the last couple of years. And uh, you going to try and be the crazy man and still <laughs> try to help out Coach Tabler with basketball? Or are you going to pull those reins back a little bit? Uh, well, you know, We'll talk about that after the season. You know, we still got some business to take care of this season. But, uh, you know, it, it would be tremendous if that could happen. But, you know, a wife and a kid at home, probably not probably not the best choice. But, we'll, <laughs> you know, we'll talk about that. Dave and I will at the end of the season. Um, just talk about philosophy-wise. Are you going to stick with what you've done on the offensive side, which is more of a, uh, a spread, no huddle, tempo-based offense? And on the flip side, what are you guys – what are you looking at defensively, I mean, for next year at least? So, yeah, offensively, we'll probably stay the same. I mean, I got, you know, some, some great athletes, some great players to continue to get the ball in their hands as, you know, as quick as I can and let them make plays. You know, defensively, I'm trying to stay with my offense and then try to be aggressive defensively, you know. I mean, uh, Coach Baker called the defense last year and the, you know, previous years, and we were aggressive with that, and I'd like to continue to do that. So, you know, hopefully, you know, with our guys coming back, that they're excited to, you know, full out aggressive on both sides of the ball is always fun. You know, keep it simple, keep it fast, so. Um, as far as, you know, this isn't a first for you because you have to put together a staff. Not only do you have to put together a staff, but you oversee a junior high program now. Mm -hmm. how, does it, how does that process, do you have to put together uh, a junior high staff? And where do you go? Do you reach into them USB roots and <laughs> maybe get some of your boys to come on over west a little bit? Or yeah. do you have some guys that, are already, that were already on staff last year that you're going to probably retain or what? Uh, so I, it's actually going to probably be a whole new staff, maybe, you know, minus a couple guys. Uh, you know, some guys that I, you know, truly trust and truly believe in are, are going to be a part of my staff. And, um, you know, as we move forward, getting new faces in there. Uh, to try to, you know, mix things up and give a different point of view than what we've seen in the past. You know, in junior high-wise, you know, guys who are, you know, who are trustworthy and who, you know, care about the program are, and are going to develop those young guys. Um, we're going to try to, you know, run the same system offensively, defensively, and probably, you know, you know, shrink it down a little bit. You know, they don't have to run all that stuff. Right. But that way, you know, it's fluent. When they get in the high school, they're hearing the same verbiage and things like that. So, you know, try to get, you know, fluent across the board. Absolutely. Seth Evans is the new head football coach at uh, Perry. He joins us here on the Sports Report. Seth, a very important position in all of football is a get-back coach. Is it true that Coach Taves <laughs> is the get-back coach for Perry football? Pulling on Coach Evans, bringing him on back. You know, I, I think I kind of I have to deal with that a little bit in basketball, too. I think yeah. I hit get, hit get back coach. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll to be determined when it comes to fall. <laughs> That's a good answer. Um, obviously, when you look at Division Seven football, you look at numbers. Yeah. Numbers can be very deceiving. Mm -hmm. You can have teams that have 21 kids. You can have teams that have less. Um, how important is to you to keep the numbers where they're at, which has been mid to upper 20s, or to even get those numbers into the 30s at Perry? 
it's huge for me because I, I feel if I can get the numbers up, then something's working. So whatever I'm doing or whatever I'm preaching and things like that, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. So, you know, the last year I think we had 31. Um, if we can get, you know, up and even closer to 40, you know, that's the ultimate goal. More kids out playing football, less kids sitting at home doing something that's, you know, they're not supposed to be doing or anything like that. Um, but it means that we're building something. And if we can get a kid who's never played football before to come out, you know, it means something that, you know, we're working, we're working hard for that. One name for you. Brady Yanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. I've tried the last two years. I actually made a bet with him, and I lost that bet. You know, luckily he did well in his state uh, cross country meet this last year, so I lost the bet. But, so you didn't have to run 3.1 miles? No, I didn't have to run 3.1 miles. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, I would have made it. <laughs> um, Obviously, August is going to be here. Before you know it, you open up with a what will be a, then a former league foe in Lehman Catholic. Uh, it's going to be a test right mm -hmm. off the bat. You're going to have the KG veteran and Dick yeah, Roll yeah. all. 60 some years of age and then you got the young buck next to me the 25 year old uh 26 maybe at that point yeah maybe yeah yeah <laughs> and Seth, i mean how i mean obviously i know you're excited to get to that point but still a lot of work to be done and it starts in the weight room doesn't it oh yeah yeah hopefully you know once we get done with this hoop season and even even now they should still be doing something but we can i can really start getting focused on the weight room and and getting kids in there and taking it seriously. What are the goals that you have as uh, the new head football coach at Perry High School? You know, goal, goal number one was obviously to have more kids come out than the previous year, you know, and then goal number two would obviously be to continue the success that we've had on the field, and hopefully we can build the success off the field too as well. You've, you inherit a program that has been conference champions. You won a playoff game. You've played, you know, uh, last season you played in New, against New Bremen um, in 2019. In 2020, you, you, you faced off against the buzzsaw in Hopewell Loudon uh, that night. The program is taking those steps. You're inheriting a very good situation, aren't mm -hmm. you? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, I, you know, that's what's exciting about it. And, you know, these kids know, have seen success now. You know, they, they've got a taste of it, and they want to keep, keep you know, eating up with it. And I, now I'm, I'm all for it. You know, I mean, it's even getting some of the kids who, have, you know, have never played before coming out and wanting to experience that success. So hopefully we can keep that train rolling. I got a very important question for you, and I, and, I, and I mean this in all sincerity because I know you. I've known you away from the field for a long time. I kind of got to watch you grow up a little bit, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Um, Seth Evans is going to be wearing shorts on Friday night, I, isn't he? You're right, I am. <laughs> all season, baby. All season. <laughs> Had to get that one in because it's always a great night to wear shorts on a Friday night uh, for high school football. And even though we're about five months away from that, it's always good to get the juices flowing with high school football and talking about it. And the new head football coach at uh, Perry, Seth Evans, joining us here tonight on the Sports Report. Seth, thanks for your time. Good luck, man. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it.